Hey people, in this video I'm going to review for you two microphones by Cam brand. It is C3 condenser mic and R3 ribbon mic. Cam brand is not a very well known brand, but I believe that it deserves the attention. So I ordered this microphone, the ribbon mic R3, but instead I got the C3 and uh, it was an auction and uh, the seller you know uh, sent me this instead of the r3 and i wanted to buy the ribbon mic because uh, i write you know bluesy songs and uh, so i wanted you know a ribbon microphone and uh, i was looking for uh, a ribbon one and uh, you know i um, uh, saw the prices of ribbon microphones. Uh, the well-known brand is uh, uh, Royer and the price is really sky high so I was looking for an alternative and I found this brand. The specs of this mic uh, were very good and so I decided to order especially you know that uh, it, it was an auction. So I think I want it for $90 and you get a $50 shipping, you know, to my country. And uh, eventually, as I said, I got this microphone. So um, I, I told the seller that I'll keep it, but I still want the, the R3 ribbon mic. And so I paid another uh, $90 plus shipping and so I got these two microphones. So ribbon mics are also used to record amplifiers uh, which means when, when you play your guitar uh, and you are connected to the amplifier it, this is the best way to record with ribbon mic because uh, it has a warm sound and uh, so usually when you record with condenser it sounds more like uh, noise than music so it's best uh, to record your uh, amplifier uh, with ribbon mics so this is also good to basically record some uh, harsh uh, sounds like distortion uh, so if you want to get a more rounded uh, musical sound uh, it's best to use ribbon mics. So here is the box of the R3, the ribbon mic and uh, what caught my attention, you know, to purchase this mic eventually it was the uh, 2.5 microns <coughs> microns, I mean excuse me aluminum, uh, pure aluminum uh, material uh, which means the less microns the more details you get while you record your uh, vocals or your guitar so um, and the price was amazing so um, I said why not this is basically the main part that drew me to purchase this microphone and uh, almost the same specs have the Royer but with the impedance of uh, 300 and in this mic it's 600 now it means that the less impedance the better signal you get and uh, it's almost doubled yeah almost doubled mm -hmm. my wishful thinking is definitely taking over but you have to see you know Royer uh, prices for for ribbon mics which are, you know, uh, it, this is something that I cannot afford, but paying, you know, uh, uh, $200, it's something that I am able, you know, afford, and that's why uh, you compromise, because uh, uh, in order to, to get a better signal, I just, you know, uh, gain the, uh, uh, the volume button on my uh, recording interface and also in my DAW in order to get you know the same basically signal as the uh, condenser mic uh, so this microphone the C3 condenser I got by a mistake and I have to say that I was 
very very impressed by this microphone and uh, it has one inch gold covered diaphragm and uh, the brand you know the company compared this microphone to the famous Neumann U87 so here is cam instrument site you can buy here microphones and electric guitar pickups and classical guitars and you can buy a tube amplifiers which are, is very cool here is the cam c3 and the frequency respond here uh, as you can see it is really almost flat yeah it's a cordioid and uh, so it's really emphasized you know slightly on the highs and it's really flat and getting flat cars flat cars are very expensive yeah a microphone that its frequency response is flat it means that the mic does not colorate or emphasize any of the frequencies it means that it basically delivers the vocals or your recording guitar just the way it is so here is the carves uh, the frequency response uh, of the Neumann U87 and uh, they almost almost flat as well but do emphasize the highs they do colorate the highs uh, so I can say that there is some resemblance but you know I cannot argue with the that I really like the sound that the cam c3 provides so here's the r3 microphone uh, it's pickup pattern is figure of eight it means if your mic is standing here and you're looking at it from this point the microphone catches this area but it also able to catch the information from this area from the back and the frequency response ribbon mics usually they uh, the high frequencies are cut off and there is a slight emphasis on the lows so uh, there is a plus db on the lows and minus db on the on the uh, high level frequency uh, but here in the midst it's flat so here are all uh, royer uh, ribbon mics and uh, as you can see figure of eight and uh, two and a half m microns uh, is uh, there are uh, you know mainly uh, made microphones there are some of course 1.8 this microphone here is a well-known one and uh, let's see you know let's see his price uh, yeah amazing price which I cannot afford and uh, the R101 it's it's very pricey I think it's very you know expensive microphone and uh, though as I said you know uh, all specs are the same but the only difference is the impedance and of course impedance is very important but you know I can compromise just to gain um, more and eventually uh, be able to hear the same level of uh, the 300 uh, impedance that they provide here and since their difference mm, since the difference you know in prices is so big I think I can manage with the 600 ohms uh, against you know 300 ohms since the price is not even doubled you know uh, and uh, that's why I think uh, that KAM is a very 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 great solution and compromise though I can't really you know uh, compare between the two because I cannot afford to buy this uh, you know microphone uh, but I think that uh, in terms of specs it's good enough uh, 
to be compared to Royer. So as I said that the only difference is basically the, imp the impedance that this issue can be solved. So you can find the KMC3 uh, studio condenser mic on eBay and as well as the the KMR3 yeah you also get auctions here or a B stock usually it is because of the uh, you know uh, due to imperfections in paint so in my test I'm gonna record vocals and guitar as well uh, in guitar I used very very worn out uh, strings uh, for you know they've been on guitar for many years and I did it on purpose to see if the ribbon mic is able you know to round the sound to make it more warm and less kinda you know metallic -y, uh, noisy sound that you uh, that I you know hear in the real world uh, from these strings now and uh, let's see what happens uh, when you are in digital world recording with the R3 if there you know gonna be any change uh, if it's gonna make a, you know a little surgery to to make it sound more uh, you know uh, yeah less metallic -y and more like music and let's see if the R3 the ribbon mic gives that you know vintage uh, uh, warm uh, style sound of the 50s and let's see if C3 really can impress us with you know um, characteristic maybe and authentic recording to the source which means your digital recording is much true to what your ears heard in the real world. You are praying for the day to put your hands on the fame looking good in tight black jeans all you need is just one hit and you move by the crowd they are waiting for hours a trend of a night you're a fool for a scandal can keep up the headlines am i the next thing or what you are praying for the day to put your hands on the frame looking good in tight black jeans all you need is just one hit and you move by the crowd, they are waiting for hours A trend of a night You're a fool for a scandal, can keep up the headlines Am I the next thing or what?
Okay guys, so do you like the R3, the ribbon mic, or do you like the C3, the condenser mic? Maybe you don't like any mic, so uh, please comment down below and let me know. And uh, I would really like to know your opinion. Uh, and I think the, not that I'm getting to my conclusion, I think that the C3, uh, it's giving you a very detailed sound, because what I was recording in reality, I hear the same thing in my recording. So I was very pleased that it seemed very uh, authentic and it does not colorate the, the vocals or the guitar. So I do like this microphone a lot. And as for the R3 microphone, the ribbon mic, I think it's still lacking this vintage vintage sound and you still need to tweak and put plugins on in order to achieve the sound that that really was in the 50s i think that with the right eqing you can achieve with condenser the same basically effect uh which i mentioned that you cut off the high frequency and you boost the low frequencies so I didn't feel the vintage effect and so I think this microphone I'm gonna use for uh, things like when you record amplifier mm, I know I mentioned it before but you know what I'm a woman I like to talk so while you playing your electric guitar especially if you put distortion effect or some really loud and something that could sound through condenser mic more like metallic key noise than music so i think that this mic can round it up the the sound and make it sound more warm so um the R3, uh, though the specs are very good, I didn't achieve the vintage sound that I was looking for. And I'd like to mention that I have a friend who is a, a great songwriter and he sent me a song which had this 50s vibe, uh, jazzy vibe, and I had to record my vocals. And eventually what I did, I recorded condenser and I put plugins on in order to make it sound more vintage. I will link it down below for you guys to check it out. And uh, for those who listen, please let me know, comment down below. And let me know, do you really think it has that vintage sound? Because with R3, I didn't achieve that sound as it is so in any case you still need to put those plugins in order to achieve this vintage sound so let me know if you think that r3 provides this vintage effect maybe it's me i don't know but i don't hear the effect that i was looking for like you know like the old sound maybe it's me maybe it's not the microphone i've heard you in a bit what it takes to be our 